Um, you say there's a double standard, a big double standard going on. Explain what you mean. Sure. First, Trish, thank you so much for having me on tonight to give me the opportunity to talk out again about that double standard. And before we get started, I'd like to clarify on the lead-in, you made a statement that my son had shared those photos. Um, in fact, that's what makes it even crazier is that he was charged with mishandling classified information for merely having six photos on a cell phone. There was no evidence he ever shared them, and there was no evidence he ever had any so intent to share them. So he just took these photos, and they said because Correct. you had these six, I mean, you know, you can, you can understand, I can empathize with that. He was excited, right? He's on the, the, the ship, the submarine, and, and wanted to take some right. photos of it. But you're saying he never shared it. Um, no. Hillary Clinton, on the other hand, we know, emailed classified information. Information, you can dispute when it was classified, but it, she was Secretary of State at the time. So Correct. walk me through so how you see her case sure. and how you see her son's. Well, again, I, again, I'm screaming about the clear double standard. I screamed about it before the election. I'm screaming about it still. And now, you know, as you talked about the pardons leading in, I mean, there's over 1,300 pardons that President Obama has done. In fact, 78 of um, felonies or felons that are in for drug charges, pretty serious felonies. And my son sits in prison right now for six photos he took when he was 22 years old in 2009. And now he's 30 and he has a one-year-old daughter. That was a picture of his daughter that he was holding and a beautiful wife and he is in prison on Christmas because of six photos he took at 22 years old How? never sharing them no intent to harm our country whatsoever do, do you do you think that there's a chance your son could get pardoned I mean gosh it, it seems like the president's right. willing to pardon pretty much anyone these days so why not your son right so I've reached out to the Obama administration. I've never had any response from them. So we're in the process now. We've had a wonderful attorney step up pro bono. His name is Jeffrey Atticott. He's very well known, um, and he is in the process. He's meeting my son in, in two weeks from today, on January 4th or from this week, and he's planning on completing the presidential pardon request. We're hopeful that the new administration will recognize and acknowledge the importance of our military members and the service that my son did, his exemplary service for 11 years. Years, other than taking six photos when he was 22 years old. Okay, I, I know that would be the best Christmas present you could get. Yes, Kathleen, I'd like to say luck. we started a Facebook page, American Patriots Against Double Standards, and we'd love anyone to sign on. Thank you so much. Kathleen.